What's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's D. About to react to a part dose of Time Lapse of the Future. I did part one yesterday. So we about to pick up where we left off, you know, about to see what's happening. We at a 200 trillion, 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 trillion years. Like, mind blown. Like, what what, what are we doing at 200 trillion, 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 trillion years? Like, why are we this far in the future? Like, that's wild. But we're about to see what happens. Um, I realize the font is very, very small. So, you know, I will... Uh, I will read it for you guys uh, loudly this time because when I was editing the last video, I was just like, oh wait. I was reading kind of low, you probably can't see, so you know, I'll, I'll raise my voice a bit. So yeah, let's proceed. In this far-flung age, black hole mergers become the main event. This is loud. Some grow to enormous sizes, possibly trillions of times the mass of our sun. What? Trillions? That's... What? I cannot even... When they merge, they send out powerful gravity waves that resonate throughout the universe. Black holes can bang on space-time like mallets on a drum. And have a very characteristic song. Trippy. Imagine two black holes that have lived a long life together. At the end of their lives, they're going around each other, crossing thousands of kilometers in a fraction of a second. One million trillion 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 trillion. As they do so, they leave behind in their wake a ringing of space, an actual wave on space time. Mechanics, space is filled with virtual particles, anandine particles, that are constantly materializing in pairs, separating, coming together again, and annihilating each other. In the presence of a black hole, one member of a pair of virtual particles may fall into the hole leaving the other member without a partner with which to annihilate. The forsaken particle appears to be radiation emitted by the black hole. And so, black holes are not eternal. They evaporate away 
at an increasing rate until they vanish in a gigantic explosion. Quantum mechanics has allowed particles and radiation to escape from the ultimate prison. I love these visuals, hole. by the way. Black holes begin to evaporate away, erasing the last large-scale structures in the universe. As they die, they light up the darkness one by one. Mm. Like fireworks. <laughs> universe continues to expand driven by a mysterious force we don't yet understand we don't understand a lot of shit all right this is the frontier of human knowledge a frontier ripe for exploration and discovery philosophers and poets have asked the question will the world end in fire or ice we can now give an answer the latest evidence shows that the universe is not slowing down, but it's speeding up out of control. And the universe, we think, will die in ice. Trillions upon trillions of years from now. Empty space itself has energy. In every little cubic centimeter of space, whether or not there's stuff, whether or not there's particles, matter, radiation, or whatever, there is still energy, even in the space itself. And this energy, according to Einstein, exerts a push on the universe. What is the weird stuff that's accelerating the universe? We call it dark energy. And this stuff is the dominant stuff of the universe. Almost three quarters of the matter energy content of the universe is this dark energy. And we don't know what it is. Dark energy, unlike matter or radiation, does not dilute away as the universe expands. This has crucial implications for what the universe is going to do in the future. Mm. So what will be the future of the universe? Well, if the dark energy remains dominant and repulsive, the universe will expand forever. Forever? Runaway universe. 70% of the energy of the universe resides in empty space, and we don't understand why. But we do know what will happen. We all know too. That energy continues to be there, the universe will become cold and dark and empty. That's the future as it might be. We don't know because we don't yet understand the nature of dark energy. Until we do, we won't know the future, we won't even understand the, our own origins, and that's why we want to know and study this subject. Discovering the true nature of dark energy could change our vision of the future dramatically. Meaning, more correct, if it somehow weakens over time, the universe could collapse under gravity, a big crunch. Oh. Given a boost, it could tear the universe apart at the seams. A big rip. Sorry, my camera died. Uh, shit. <laughs> Others still could be far more exotic than anything we could imagine. New pieces to this puzzle are out there somewhere waiting to be found. The forecast does seem to be for another colder, ever empty universe. But 
then, of course, we have to ask, could that end lead to a new beginning? And there are ideas whereby uh, what actually is the end of our universe could, in some sense, be linked to the beginning of a new one. Some speculate that there may be a way to escape our universe before entropy erases everything. Entropy? I don't know what that means. We could create a simulated virtual universe still with enough energy to create another one just like our own. We might be in a simulation right now. We've worked out the I think we are. The equations, they seem to say that if you have an atom smasher that can concentrate tremendous amounts of energy at a single point, you can perhaps open up a gateway, a baby universe. A baby universe. Facing the death of everything there is, this perhaps is their only possibility of escape. And this also raises a very intriguing possibility, sheer speculation, of course, that perhaps any universe that has intelligent life in it will create baby universes, will create lifeboats, and proliferate child universes. Hmm. So an evolution may take among universes in the multiverse. Survival of the fittest may take place. So those universes which do not have intelligent life are infertile. They have no children. But those universes that have mild temperatures, stars like us, would create civilizations that could open up child universes, and they would then proliferate. There is no way to escape the universe, then entropy will march on strong possibilities. Entropy. What the fuck is that? As the last one explodes and dies, it bathes the universe in light one last time. music is this necessary <laughs> so loud after an unimaginable length of time even the black holes will have evaporated and the universe will be nothing but a sea of photons gradually tending towards the same temperature as the expansion of the universe cools them towards absolute zero
All right, y'all, this is my theory. First off, this is all speculation. Science, they guessing. These niggas be guessing. Science has changed so much over the years. Like, we used to believe certain things, and then it's like, oh, wait, no, 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 we got new information. Now it's this. Oh, wait, no, 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 it's actually this. Like, <laughs> that's basically what science is. So I don't really, you know, want to say that, oh, this is definitely going to happen because these niggas don't know. They don't know. Um, But this is my theory. I read this or saw this or heard this somewhere and it resonated with me it might have been in a reaction I don't fucking know but I think we could possibly be in a simulation I think that that is accurate um the theory that someone had that I felt like made sense they said that in the future the way things are going with like virtual reality and shit like in the future we're going to evolve so much to where we can create other realities that are so realistic that we don't know the difference between that reality and the base reality or the real reality. So they could possibly be running experiments on us. Like we could be a simulated reality that the future has created for them to like determine certain shit. Like, hmm, what'll happen if we had made trump president like how will people react like let's see <laughs> you know so we could be in that reality to where you know they're trying to run experiments and they're creating these simulations and we think we real we think this shit is real but we're not in the base reality you know what i mean so i feel like that makes sense and you could take it to a different spiritual place as well and say that you know where this is um, the matrix you know, so to speak, if you've ever seen the movie The Matrix, we can say that we're having a human experience, but we're all spiritual beings. Our higher selves are above this world. This is just like a video game or it's like The Matrix and none of this is actually real. None of this is actually happening. You could take it there as well, which I kind of believe also. So, you know, there's so many possibilities. You just don't know. This shit is trippy though. If you really think about it and if you really do research and just hear different people speak, like it, it really like trips you out. Because we're always told one thing and, you know, told that, oh, it's like this and this is reality. This is... No, we be lied to. All right, we be getting lied to all the goddamn time. So you never know, you know, but just open your mind. Think for yourself. I go based on what resonates with me. Like, yes, I can go based on these people's theories and, you know, facts and science and shit. But ultimately, I like to believe and rely on what resonates with me. When I hear certain shit some shit resonates with me to where i don't know i feel it in my heart to be true like it's just like i'll read something and i'm just like this is true and i feel like that's my higher self telling me like yes this is fact like i, I don't know if that makes sense but anyway that is my take this video was very interesting i enjoyed it a lot let me know what your theories are what you take away from it and yeah i'll see y'all in the next video bye